I'm Kathy Thomas, and joining me today will be personal chef caterer Catherine Louis Boucher. Catherine's going to show us how to turn lamb chops into lollipops. Catherine, welcome. Thank you. So nice to be here. And these lamb chops look so delicious. And it's kind of a Greek spin on lamb chops. It is. It's it's very much like my dad's recipe, but my dad would never use jalapenos probably. So I, I add them in there to spice it up a little bit. All right, so we want to get started and give them time to marinate. Absolutely. So what do we do first? So I have here some shallots, a quarter cup of fresh oregano, fresh parsley, and eight garlic cloves. Followed by the olive oil with the lemon zest and juice of two Meyer lemons and two jalapenos seeded, sliced. Oh, yeah. Get that on top of there. And then we are going to cover these and we're going to put them in the refrigerator for three hours to marinate and let those flavors blend. Mm. All right, so we've got some over here that are already marinated. And what happens next? We're going to salt and pepper these generously. I like to put it on right before I grill my meat. Okay, let's go out to the grill. Great. Now, what do you think the jalapeno does? You know, I just love the, the taste, at, uh, the spiciness, but also the taste of that kind mm -hmm. of charred jalapeno. Right. It just gives it a little more depth of flavor, which is great. And most of the time, jalapenos are not that hot. Not that spicy. Right. Especially after they're grilled. Yeah. So we're gonna grill these about two minutes each side for right. a medium rare center, which is how I like them. So after about a minute, I'm gonna flip these over to the other side for about a minute. And then after about a minute, I'll flip them back to the other side and then one more minute on this side until they're perfectly medium rare in the middle. Oh, those look so scrumptious. Oh, gosh, well, they're ready to come off nice and charred, perfectly cooked, medium rare. All right, let's get them off. Oh, they look so good, but you have some garnish to put on? Yeah, I do like to finish them off with a little bit of fresh parsley, squeeze a lemon juice, mm. that freshness, mm -hmm. and just a few lemon slices on top. How gorgeous. Great. I've got to try one. Yeah, please I do. don't know which one to grab. I'm going to grab this one. It looks real meaty. That looks like a good one. Mm. So you can get lollipop lamb chops like these at the Taste of Grace Festival in Irvine, which is uh, June 21st through 23rd. Mmm, delicious. Tons of so good. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Chef. Thanks this for is coming. these are delicious. Thanks. Here is a quick tip from Melissa's: some quick to make mushroom soup. And start by getting your pan hot, spraying with, with a little nonstick spray. And when that heats up a little, I'm going to go ahead and add about 14 ounces of sliced cremini mushrooms. In goes the garlic. And the green onions are a very important part of this recipe. And I have divided them into the light green part and then the dark green part, which I'm going to save for a garnish. Okay, are my mushrooms, which I've tossed occasionally as they cook, have gotten brown and they're just starting to release a little bit of of liquid, a little salt, a little freshly ground pepper, a couple of cups of chicken broth or vegetable broth, and a 12 ounce can of non-fat evaporated milk. I'm going to put the lid on to bring this back up to a simmer, then I'm going to reduce the heat and simmer it for about 10 minutes. All right. It's time to puree this. Now you can do it in batches in the blender or in the food processor, but I have this handheld immersion blender and it just is a little honey. So here we go. A little bit of pepper. And you can put a little topping, something creamy if you like. I've got some Greek yogurt, but it could be mascarpone, it could be sour cream, or you could leave it off. And on go the green onions. And there's quick cream of mushroom soup, easy and delicious.